Hello, this is Jason Ledbetter with the Sunfrog Academy, and in this training video, you're going to learn how to remarket your website visitors for more sales. Now, you put a lot of effort into getting people to click your ads. Statistically, most people do not purchase on the first click. When you remarket or retarget these clickers with more advertisements, you have a much greater chance of getting the sale. Now, just keep in mind, if you hear the word remarket or retarget or retargeting, they're all the same thing. To remarket, remarketing, to retarget, retargeting, it's all getting an ad back in front of someone that clicked your link before, that clicked your ad. Now, with remarketing, you can get more conversions from your existing traffic because you get another chance to turn that visitor into a customer. You can also convert more sales with lower ad cost and promote other products to those clickers. Now, what I mean by this is you get a chance to get more conversions from people that didn't purchase. So if someone clicked your ad and went to your product page but did not purchase, now you get a chance to remarket to them with a new ad. So you get a better chance of turning that visitor into a customer, especially since statistically showing the customer needs to see the product multiple times. And the reason you can convert more sales with lower ad cost is because you've already paid more upfront to get the person to click that ad to begin with. Now they're already familiar with the brand and they've seen the product. So now when they see the ad again, they're more likely to click it because they're more familiar. So typically your remarketing campaigns are going to have a high ROI because you're going to be converting those customers into sales very cheap if you do this right. And you can also promote other products to these clickers. So if they click your ad to see one t-shirt design, now you can retarget them with other t-shirt designs in the same market. Now there are a few things that you have to do before you're able to start retargeting. And number one is you have to create a Facebook pixel. So in order to identify your website visitors so you can retarget them on Facebook, you must have the pixel installed. Now please refer to the Facebook pixel what you need to know training video here at the Academy if you do not have your pixel set up. I've created a video and I show you exactly how to set your pixel up over the shoulder. Now once you have your pixel set up, next you need to create an audience. You can build an audience based on your website visitors. And now I'm going to show you how to set up that audience over the shoulder now. So let's hop on over to the Facebook Ads Manager. So we're here at the Business Manager and we're going to come up here to the menu and go to All Tools. And then under Assets, you'll see Audiences. So we're going to go ahead and click Audiences. And since this is a brand new ads account and I haven't created any audience, we're going to see these different options. So reach the people who matter to you. We can create custom audiences, lookalike audiences, and we can save our audiences. Now we have videos here at the Academy on lookalike audiences and saved audiences, so please refer to those videos for these different types. But for now, we're going to create a custom audience because we want to retarget people that have already visited our website. So once you click create a custom audience, we're going to go to website traffic. We want to create a list of people who visit your website or visit certain web pages. Okay, so we have a few different options here under website traffic. So anyone who visits your website, people who visit a certain web page, people who visit a certain web page but not others, and people who haven't visited in a certain amount of time. So if we click this second option here, we can include people who visit any web page that meets the following rule. So let's say that we wanted to promote a product on Sunfrog. So we can say URL equals, or we can put in the whole URL, or we can just say URL contains, or we can just put in a keyword. So let's say that we want to promote this Sunfrog t-shirt run like your phone is at 1%. All we need to do is grab a keyword out of this list here. So for an example, I could grab run like your phone and I could pop that in here, run like your phone. And then I can choose in the last 30 days, 60 or up to 180 and then I can click create audience. And just like that, it will create an audience. So I could also come in here and create a custom audience for Sunfrog. URL contains Sunfrog. So then I could say all Sunfrog visitors and create audience. An Another way to create the audience is by URL. So I could do website traffic and then I could say URL equals. 
So now anyone that visits Sunfrog will be built in this custom audience. All website traffic, Sunfrog. Create audience. And to take it one step further, we can create a custom audience, website traffic, and we can say, and we can do a custom combination. So we can say include people who visit this web page. So URL contains, and we can say run like your phone. So they landed on this page because we have run like your phone in the URL, but we want to exclude people that landed on the thank you page. Just to switch screens real quick, I want to show you here on this example, after someone makes a purchase on Sunfrog, this is the URL they go to. So you can see this URL contains thank you. So now we just enter our thank you. And now our audience has been created where if someone lands on run like your phone, but does not land on the thank you page, which means they landed on run like your phone product page. However, they did not purchase. Now they're going to be in this audience here. So now you can actually run a retargeting campaign to all your clickers that landed on this product page. However, they did not purchase. They never landed on the thank you page. And now you can see that our audiences are too small. That's because I haven't sent any traffic. But let's say that we sent over 100 clicks to the run like your phone. This would now show 100 people in this audience size. And I would be able to run an ad to these 100 people that clicked through but did not purchase. Or I would be able to run, if I sent over 500 total clicks to all my campaigns, I would be able to run an ad to those 500 people. So now let me show you how to actually set up the retarget ad. So we would come back up here and we would go to Ads Manager and we would choose our objective. So I'll go with Increase Conversions on your website. So I'll select my conversion here. I'll go with Add to Cart. And then right here you have Custom Audiences and this is where your custom audiences are going to be. So if I wanted to retarget people that landed on my shirt but didn't purchase, I could just select that audience. And now when I run my ad, it's only going to be targeting that audience. And you can also come here to create your custom audiences too, just like we did by going up here to assets and audience. You can also create an audience on the fly now right here inside the ads manager. And it will save up here. And then from there, you just continue running your regular ad, only you've already defined your audience. Okay, in this video, you have learned how to remarket your website visitors for more sales.